Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadogs the Bomb, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News from Update, where today we're looking at Wallaby Holland, because they've got some, a big update here around their 2021 developments. Now we knew that Condor was getting some brand new trains, because of course we saw all the pictures uh, from its final day of operation, with the old trains of course. Uh, so they're bringing in these brand new trains for Condor, improve the rideability factor of it. Now it's been announced they're going to be doing some more changes to this exotic themed area uh, with surrounding attractions so we're going to share all the information about it and share my thoughts on this development so before we get started guys make sure you like the video if you loved it make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions i have very very fast hands <laughs> uh, make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions guys make sure you subscribe to the channel as well we're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and we're halfway to 1 million views as well. So make sure you get your subscriptions in, guys. They're completely free, uh, but we do have a big year coming next year, guys. Paid memberships, monetization, merch, website. It's all going down, uh, hopefully, if it all goes to plan. And uh, for now, guys, let's have a look at all the information surrounding Wallaby Holland and the brand new exotic themed area. So some big, big changes coming to this area. Now, it's been known for a long time that 2021 will involve the new... Condor Trains, which is known for its uncomfortable uh, driving style, and these new trains with vest brackets are in order to make the ride better and more beautiful, which was previously reported. Now, it's now been revealed that the surrounding exotic area is also to be upgraded. Now, exotic is being renewed this winter. Um, in addition to the new Condor Trains, the entire zone with El Rio Grande, Los Sombreros, Tequila's Taxis, and Condor will be renewed. And this, this came from Wallaby Holland on Facebook. Now, what's exactly being changed is still uncertain. Now, of course, for those of you who need a little bit of information about the whole area, the biggest attraction is, of course, Condor, uh, which opened back in 1994. And, of course, the whitewater rafting-style ride El Rio Grande, uh, which is the Rapids ride, uh, the Los Sombreros flat ride and the Tequila Taxis bumper cars attraction, and the facade of which was renewed back at the start of this season. Now, they expand the area's offerings, and in addition, they also include the children's bumper car mini taxis and the High Sienda restaurant. So there could be some changes coming to this area maybe some new attractions we don't know yet i mean world behold hasn't confirmed because of course if you remember um if you look at the speed zone area and you look at what's happened over there this season um they had a couple of like sort of i say rebrands as well as maybe a couple of little new attractions so i wonder whether they're going to go down some new attractions kind of route to uh to further indulge guests into this exotic area next year so there we go that is wallaby holland's exotic area for 2021 being renewed and being refurbished it's all going down next year at wallaby holland for this area and you know what? I'm a massive fan of this. I'm a huge fan of this area being redeveloped. I think that, you know, it'd be nice to see some new additions to this particular area. And I think that the park are going to do an exceptional job with this area. And you know what? I, I do think that the exotic area getting a bit of a facelift with the new Condor trains to sort of bring some new life into the area isn't a bad move at all. And I like how even though they renewed the facade of the bumper cars, uh, um, uh, yeah, the mini bump, uh, no, the normal bumper cars, I keep getting confused between the two, uh, but the bumper cars facades, the bumper cars facade, which got renewed at the start of this season, is it could be getting renewed again, maybe. So, or maybe they've done the facade, but maybe they're going to do the rest of it. But I definitely think that in the back of my mind when they sort of did the facade of the bumper cars, it kind of had a, a kind of a click in my mind at the start of the season um, that it could be the, mean the rest of the area will go through the same kind of uh, transformation uh, like the facade of the bumper cars so you know I, I had in the back of my mind that this area was going to get revamped at some point it, I didn't expect it to be so soon at the end of the season uh, especially since they've renewed the bumper cars facade at the start of this season and now by the end of the season they're announcing the whole area is getting a facelift so will it include any new attractions we don't know at this stage is it just a revamp we don't know at this stage but it looks likely it will be just a revamp including the brand new trains for Condor uh, but there we go guys so thank you very much guys for watching this news update on Wallaby Holland you can go back and check out all the news updates from today you can see out the trailer for the Big Dipper at Looney Park Sydney uh, the analysis of the Looney Park expansion uh, you can also check out uh, the news update from Digest Summerland as well so before we get 
to the end of this video, guys, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It means the absolute world. We're going to be setting up a whole new bunch of stuff next year, and it's all going down next year, hopefully, for August to plan. It's going to be a big year next year. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video and watching the channel. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day. Oh,